Hello and welcome to the Jewelry Trade Resources podcast, where we dive into the fascinating world of jewelry design, craftsmanship and industry trends. And I'm thrilled to have you join us on this journey, whether you're a seasoned professional, an aspiring designer or simply a lover of all things sparkly. There's something for everyone in our conversations with the brightest minds in the jewelry trade. So let's get started and uncover the hidden gems of this captivating industry. And today we're exploring cultural influences and specialization in jewelry making. As fashion continuously shapes the world of jewelry trends, the role of cultural influences and specialization in jewelry making becomes increasingly important. By understanding how historic and ethnic cultures have specialized in specific techniques, contemporary jewelers can draw inspiration from these methods and create innovative designs that stand out in today's fast-paced fashion industry. In the realm of historic and ethnic jewelry, numerous cultures have shown a preference for or even specialized in specific techniques. These specializations led to the development of new concepts and creative possibilities that emerged through in-depth exploration of the chosen speciality. Throughout history, various cultures have honed specific techniques, refining them and pushing their boundaries. By doing so, they unlock new creative opportunities, enhancing the beauty and value of their jewellery. The Etruscans, an ancient civilization in Italy, were known for their exceptional gold granulation skills. This intricate technique involved the application of tiny gold spheres to create elaborate patterns and textures on jewellery pieces. Their mastery of gold granulation led to the creation of stunning detailed works of art that still inspire awe today. In Central and South America, indigenous cultures developed advanced casting techniques to create complex detailed ornaments. By specialising in these methods, they crafted remarkable jewellery pieces that showcased their skills and creativity, often incorporating cultural symbols and motifs. Specialization in a specific technique or material naturally leads to the growth and revelation of new ideas. As one concept suggests another, jewelers become more proficient and innovative, creating cohesive bodies of work that demonstrate unity, maturity and keep exploration of their chosen speciality going. Throughout history, jewellers have learned from the skills and ideas of their predecessors, passing on knowledge and techniques from generation to generation. This process enables the continual development and refinement of jewellery making practices, ensuring that the artistry and craftsmanship involved in creating jewellery pieces are never lost. Each generation of jewellers brings its own unique perspective and experiences to the craft, allowing them to build upon established skills and ideas of those who came before them. This process of learning and growth is essential to the continued evolution of jewellery making as it fosters innovation and the development of new techniques and styles. The generational growth of jewellery techniques can be observed in the work of both historic and contemporary jewellers as each generation adds its own innovations and refinements to the techniques handed down to them and the overall body of knowledge and craftsmanship in the field expands, leading to more diverse, intricate and captivating jewellery creations. Contemporary jewellers often choose to focus on specific techniques or materials, resulting in a body of work that showcases their expertise and unique perspective. This approach allows them to delve deeper into the chosen area exploring new possibilities and refining their skills to create distinctive and impactful pieces. By concentrating on a particular technique or material, jewellers can develop a greater understanding of its properties and potential application. This expertise often leads to the discovery of innovative design concepts and the creation of unique attention commanding pieces. Furthermore, specialisation helps jewellers stand out in a competitive market as their work becomes instantly recognisable for its quality and distinct style. As jewellers become more proficient in their chosen area, they often find that one concept naturally leads to another. This progression allows for the exploration of new ideas while maintaining a cohesive body of work. Repeating an idea with minor variations helps the jeweler refine their technique and develop a mature, authoritative, artistic statement that reflects their dedication and mastery of their craft. In jewellery design, 
Repetition and variation play a crucial role in enhancing the creative process and developing a unique cohesive body of work. By repeating a particular concept and making minor variations, jewelers can explore the depth of an idea, refine their techniques and discover new possibilities within their chosen specialisation. Repeating an idea with minor variations allows jewelers to perfect their craft while simultaneously experimenting with different design elements. This process not only hones the jeweler's skills but also stimulates their creativity and innovation. As the jeweler delves deeper into a concept, they can uncover hidden potentials and generate fresh ideas, ensuring their work remains fresh and exciting. Through repetition and variation, a jeweler can create a unified body of work that showcases their mastery in a specific technique or material. This cohesive collection born out of in-depth exploration and expertise will naturally command attention and establish the jeweler's authority in their chosen field. By building a strong coherent portfolio, jewelers can set themselves apart from their peers and captivate their audience with their signature style and creative vision. The specialisation of techniques in historic and ethnic jewellery has significantly contributed to the development of new concepts and ideas. Contemporary jewellers can learn from these specialisation practices to create innovative, attention commanding bodies of work. By building upon the legacy of specialised techniques and embracing the potential for growth through exploration, jewellers can continue to push the boundaries of their craft and create remarkable pieces that resonate with their audiences. And that is a wrap for today's episode of the Joy Trade Resources podcast. So, thank you very much for tuning in and joining us in our exploration of the ever-evolving world of jewellery. We hope you've enjoyed the insights and stories from our experts as much as we have today. And if you'd like to stay up to date on future episodes and join our vibrant community, be sure to subscribe to our podcast and follow us on social media. So until next time, wishing you inspiration, creativity and success in your jewellery endeavours. And goodbye.